you can see superheroes on the big screen or read about them in comic books, but graphics in the classroom? Health reporter Jamal Edwards explains how comics can help both patients and doctors. UNC student Mariah Hukins is drawing her way through medical school. Drawing the notes, so drawing cartoons, is easier than reading a book or reading a chapter. Hukins says she draws comics to become a better doctor. It helps you keep it in your brain longer and remember it, not just for the exam, but also for when helping the patient. Right now she says drawing's a hobby, but when she starts working with patients... I definitely want to incorporate comics. Duke professor Jules Odendahl James says some health professionals have embraced this new field called graphic medicine to help medical students learn and patients understand their diagnoses and treatments. There is emerging research on how these um, comics can be used with children. Hi there! My name is Iggy the Inhaler. The video of Iggy the Inhaler has been shown to 3,000 children and youth asthma camps nationwide. Hugin says common art like this should be used in medical schools. I do wholeheartedly believe that there should be a course where you um, are using art, art to explain medicine. In the future, Hugin says she hopes graphic medicine will become part of the doctor's toolkit, like a stethoscope or a prescription pad. She says it's like a Dr. Seuss for medicine. In Chapel Hill, I'm Jamal Edwards reporting. And if you want to see those graphics, you can search on our website at carolinaweek.org.